everyone! My name is Ahaley Ghoshal and today I'm going to be t doing a book review. But, 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 before we do that, I'm going to tell you a bit about myself. Let's start. As you already know, my name is Ahaley Ghoshal. I'm in class four, I'm nine years old and I live in London. My favourite hobby is reading books. As you can see, there's a whole bookshelf full of them. I mostly like fantasy books or non-fiction. I also like books that have morals in them. Uh, for example, let's take, I don't know, fairy tales. It, once you get to the end of a fairy tale, there's a moral at the end, isn't it? So I would sort of call the book a lesson for the future generations. So that's what I like to do. Um, as you know, we're going to be doing a book review. And um, we'll do that later. So I also like to um, look at my globe a lot because I'm always looking for different places and landmarks. There's two reasons I like the globe. Number one, because it lights up. And number two, it's it's got pinpoint detail. Like you can just find out, okay, where's this city? You'll see it right on there. The map. They might be tricky to find, but if you've got good eyes, yes, definitely you're going to be able to find it. Um, I also like to read books such as The Rebel Girls over here. I've got number one and number two. Um, I also like to read them because they've got quotes at the end from the from the um, girls there. Yeah, from from young to, to middle aged to old, like, or only ladies. No men inside it. Um, ma mainly about the ladies. So they've got quotes at the end. And one of my favourite quotes is from a uh, Italian fencer called Beatrice Vio. Um... And I always bookmark that page because um, as a child, um, that Beatrice video there, she had a very hard life. What it was is that um, she was fine at the beginning. She could fence, like fencing at the sport. And um, But then uh, later on, she contracted a severe illness called meningitis. I'm, I'm not saying right. Meningitis, I think. Meningitis. And basically what that happened was it... It attacked the spinal cord and the nerves in her brain, which meant she couldn't move. So she, when she got to the hospital, she was fighting for her life. That's what the book says. And the doctors had to amputate her legs and her arms, both, all four of them. And um, what happened was that, so that meant, so everyone thought that Beach just couldn't, couldn't offend anyone. People said she was crazy. So what she did was, so first of all, uh, you know the basic stages, walking, opening windows, brushing her teeth, having a shower, she taught herself those first, so that she could get back to her thing. Then she taught her class, she had to get artificial limbs. So then she taught her class how to use her artificial limbs. And after, um, let's say a whole month of hard work, of learning this and learning that and doing this, she finally fenced again. And um, at the every Rebel Girls picture, there's a picture of that person designed by someone. And her quote was, I don't take no for an answer. When I read that, um, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't know how to describe it, but I felt that I can do this. And that, and it's very inspirational. So that message goes out to all of those girls who think they're not good enough. And you know you can do it. I don't take no for an answer. And that's one of my favourite quotes. So remember, please keep on watching. And like, subscribe, share this video, click that bell. Thank you very much.